Pony. Yeah. 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 I met Evan when I was in the third grade uh, when Mr. Plunge got us all together for a travel basketball team. Uh, you know, back then he was a goofy little chubby kid. You know. Me and Evan were, went to preschool together. Grew up, obviously, in uh, rec uh, recreational leagues with baseball, uh, football, played together, basketball. The group's always been basketball. That's our, uh, our main thing. Like. Uh, it was the sexy seven. Seven best friends who played basketball together ever since we were in like fourth grade. Uh, Evan was, he was the guy. Top 10 in the class, three sport athlete. Um, one of the nicest guys that I've ever met. I mean, he helped me get better as a person, as a player. Hanging out with him was fun. Got to hang out with Evan Murray, it's awesome. You know what I mean? Doesn't get any better than that. As an athlete, he was like one of the hardest working kids there was. He always came to practice ready to go, tried his hardest, was a good leader in that aspect because everything he did, he did hard. He tried to make himself better every single day. If things weren't going his way, he always come and ask me what could he do to get himself better? What could he get him to do to make himself get more playing time? And when I told him, he'd come into practice the next day and really work and focus on those things to try to make himself better. So and I'm sure that carried over for all the sports, not just uh, basketball. He was playing part-time JV and part-time varsity, and he wasn't happy about it. He wanted to play varsity all the time. I said, well, you're playing two quarters with me out of, for the night. I go, so you're going to play the whole first half. I said, dominate. And so in the first half, he had 19 points and nine rebounds and only a half. And he, as we were walking off the court, he just put his arm around me and he just said, he said, coach, dominating enough or what? And uh, I, that was a lasting memory and it still makes me laugh because uh, he didn't play much more with me after that point, to be honest with you. There's like an empty spot and like a, just a vacancy on the floor that everyone knows should be filled because Evan was, he was a leader. A lot of people went to him like when they needed anything because he was really smart. He knew like everything about every play and uh, it's just weird not seeing someone where they should be. Evan was going to be the starter, one of the starters this year and it's really tough actually um, going through day by day practice, uh, not having him there. I think we are at John's house and we were playing, it wasn't a real game, but it was called Intergalactic Space Pirates. But every time he ran away, he would do the most ridiculous like jump, spin, kick at the same time. And it was really funny because every time he did it, and as he was running away, he would just yell and be like, ah, and then like run away. And I just remember that. He did that all the time. <laughs> you know, he would always... He'd always try to fight like John. And that was the best. Like seeing John, him try to like him try to wrestle John, and then and then John would turn the tables, and you hear that little scream. I'll never, oh, I'll never forget that scream. <laughs> well, basically, I mean, like we always had you know a lot of class together, and you know I just miss you know being near him in class because like we'd always like look over to each other, we'd like share a laugh, like he would always just break my day, like just so I just basically miss that. It's uh, really been amazing. Not just the community, the country. There were a lot of good things, a lot of good tributes, a lot of good things that everybody in the whole country like did for him. It was amazing. We ordered uh, special uniforms, jerseys for us this year, and uh, when I called the place in Montana to. Uh, place the order, uh, they already knew about it. She goes, uh, are you from Warren Hills? And I said, yeah. And they said they've already heard about it and expressed their condolences and sorrow. And just different things, fundraisers that the community did, students did, uh, support that like professional football teams did. Just those to show you how many people like, you know, in a roundabout way that Evan has touched. He would always like be there at my house, um, like after he just, especially when he got his license, he would always just come over and just show up and that'd be okay. He, always, like, he was like part of the family basically, like, he could just show up and he could just like 
go into the fridge and to take whatever you wanted, take whatever food you wanted, because he was just like, he was my brother. And uh, that's definitely going to be the hard, hardest thing, is never seeing him, or like not seeing him again for a long time. A lot of my classes are really boring now, because he's not, like, he's not there, I don't have anyone to joke around with, and um, I don't know, we just hang out every weekend and stuff, and uh, now, I mean, now we don't. So just like talking to him and saying things to him, is, I miss that. I think it means a lot to play, have his name on the back of our jersey because, I mean, you know the saying, don't play for the name on the back, play for the name on the front. But this year we're playing for both the Warren Hills and for Murray. It means the world to me. He was uh, one of my best friends. And just the fact that he's right there on our backs watching over us, it means a lot. It's Evan's birthday tomorrow, so uh, it has some extra special meaning to us. The kids didn't want to uh, switch the game. I approached the kids earlier in the year as soon as I have him passed away. And I knew it was his birthday and I asked them at that time if they would like to switch the ball game and they chose not to. They said, no coach, we really want to play on his birthday. Uh, that would be their way of honoring him. Like as soon as like, I put the jersey on and I walk out there, you know, he's not there with us. Like, and I see all those people and all like, like his name up on that board with all our names, like, it's gonna hit you and it'll, it'll be huge like to get a, a W for him you know, on, on his birthday. Tomorrow means the world to us. I'm, there, I'm never nervous when I play, but tomorrow I'm really nervous because I want to go out there and play for Evan. I want to play for my dad. I want to play for every single person out that's gonna see me play tomorrow. I want to win. I want to win for my team. I want to win for everyone. Being able to defeat Peeper, one of our biggest rivals, on Evan's birthday was probably one of the best moments of my life. One of the greatest accomplishments of my life. At the end of the game, uh, a lot of the guys on the team that whole day were feeling weird because it was Evan's birthday and we knew it was going to be an emotional night. And we didn't know if we could handle it and rise above it and play as well as we wanted to. But as soon as the game started, we knew what we had to, had to do. We had to win the game. We had to get the job done for Evan and for us and everyone who supported us. In Evan's college essay that he wrote the day before he passed, he talks about the leadership roles that he had in the community and what it means to be a Blue Streak. He said in his essay, bringing everyone together makes me proud to be a Blue Streak and to be the leader of that group makes him feel even prouder. Evan has brought the whole community together more than he could have ever imagined. Because of my best friend, Evan Murray, I now know that being a Blue Streak means being a leader, being a competitor, and most importantly, being a great friend. We should all live as Ev did, as a Blue Streak. As a Warren Hills Blue Streak.